All right, hey, let's welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we're back once again in Minecraft Dungeons. I like the little fox up there. That's cute. Uh, we have one more level uh, to complete before this um, mushroom is upgraded to a higher uh, power level, so this is going to be useful. Uh, but yeah, let's jump straight into the next match. So previously we did high block halls. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is actually going to be Obsidian Pinnacle. Um, this is also a um, mission we haven't done yet as well. We got some of these bonus missions here. Uh, which can be useful. Um, some of these I don't even remember, to be honest, but Underhaul's like, I definitely think that was something before. I don't remember if the Lower Temple was a thing before, but either way, uh, we're going to go up to Obsidian Pinnacle, which I think is either the last or the, the second to last uh, uh, mission here. So yeah, let's let's jump into it, shall we? It says recommended power level 33, so we're actually doing better than that, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's jump straight into it. Maybe power level 40 is the highest you can get on the default difficulty. Because I know there's higher difficulties. Um, but yeah. Alright. Let's jump into it. Obsidian Pinnacle. So it looks like we're going to be fighting some of those big golems as well. And more of these uh, little guard dudes that are having their shields out. The arch illager fled to the ramparts of High Block Castle. But he can't have gotten far. Make haste and fight your way through to the highest tower. The Arch Illager and his reign of terror ends tonight. Alright. I believe this is the final uh, the final mission, actually. From what I can remember. So, that's cool. Alright. Let's jump into it. So, we got the Fireworks Arrow upgraded. Or, uh, yeah, fully upgraded last match as well. Or not fully upgraded, but uh, we obtained a new one at a high level, so that's useful. We don't have our um, our good old uh, good old speed boost uh, like boots of swiftness or whatever, which is the only problem here. But that's okay. All right, we got these little boost things as well. Pretty cool. <laughs> Let's get that guy out of the way so he's not buffing him up. Alright, looks like there might be something over here as well, so let's double check over here real quick. What is this? Oh, okay, that's just the way back, actually. Never mind. We're good. I remember when the fir game first came out, sometimes you could actually fall off of those little boost things. So that's kind of funny. guys definitely hurt quite a bit, so we gotta be careful. Okay, this piece of bread is actually super useful here. I don't want to waste too many arrows because right now we are a little bit limited in the supply of them. But, uh, yeah. We'll have to see. Soul crossbow that's worse than what we have. Also, a level up is nice. Let's go ahead and take those enchanter guys out. Alright, we got a pork over there. Right now, we don't need it super badly, so we'll kind of wait on it for a second. But is there anything over here? Oh, yes. Grim armor. Less worse than what we have right now, but <clears throat> at least it's something. Uh, looks like it wants us to go left, so let's go ahead and check out this area to the right real fast, so we don't miss anything. Nice. Alright, and these are the new things we got, but that's nothing important. Got some enchanted enemies here. Don't like those guys, that's for sure. I don't have a ton of range on them. Uh, let's go ahead and finish him healing real quick and then we'll continue on. Nice, perfect. Good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, swiftness, I do like that. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything actually over here, unfortunately, but hey, at least we got some XP, which is useful for sure. Crossbow, but it's worse than what we have, so nothing important there. Pursuit the Arch Illager, the Eye of the Storm. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I will go ahead and grab the pork just for fun. Oh, void caller. What the heck is that? Okay. 
Okay, so this is level 40. Oh no, there is, there's a higher level than 40, but I don't know. Well, I mean, of course there's a higher level of equipment, but I think 40 is the highest we can get right now on this difficulty. I'm not sure though. Um, all right, Void Caller. I might be wrong about that actually, but <laughs> just a guess. Uh, Void Caller, 84 range damage, so it's a crossbow. Uh, pulls in enemies, so it has gravity automatically attached to it, and it has a plus one soul gathering. Uh, okay. Looks like we got a bunch of stuff here as well. Triple damage based on the number of souls you have. Accelerate and punch. Okay. Uh, not that cool, actually, but the, the item seems pretty cool. <laughs> Other than the fact that it's not very strong. Alright, tiny bit of lag. Sorry about that. That guy's like on the outside there. Oh, there we go. He figured it out. Oh my gosh. Got all these guys here. I thought I was gonna get like wrecked there, so pumped my thing. All right, cool. <clears throat> Can actually go ahead and grab those two guys. And I'm instead of rolling off, I'm just gonna use the smart, safe way. The little pig went off of it too. That's funny. All right. fine actually. They have uh, tons of enemies that they kind of throw at you here. Alright, uh, looks like pretty much the same little thing here actually. That guy went up after me, but I am not up there anymore, so I might have to go ahead and grab him again because... Oh, no, here we go. Come on at me, bro. Maybe not. I don't think he's smart enough actually. Let's go back up and fight him. I don't want to miss anyone. Every little bit of XP is going to be useful to us. Alright. Let's head up. Why are you guys out there? <laughs> what are y'all doing? There we go. still okay but that definitely hurt a lot um is this where we need to go yes okay Let's see if we can throw this over there oh shoot it didn't work Never mind. oops that's fine it's fine all right we're back to being okay we did lose that one life unfortunately though but it's okay Always gotta check, you know? Always gotta check. Power the beacons. Zero of two, okay. Guess we'll go do that real fast then. I was gonna say, if we get some food, that'd be awesome. Alright, let's get this top one done first, I guess. Boom. Somehow. There we go. First of the arch villager. <laughs> Supplies here, so I don't need to waste any stuff because I'm going to have that bread for healing. And that is good. Oh, uh, the fireworks did not go through him. <laughs> I thought it would get the piercing effect there, but it didn't seem like it did. That's okay then. 
Let's try to get a shadow to attack on this guy. There we go. Do a nice bit of damage there. Alright, invocation robe. That is level 40. Alright. What was that little noise there? Oh, okay. It was like ding 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 ding. I heard, but doesn't seem like it was anything, so never mind then. Alright, let's check out this direction because this is not the way it wants us to go. Let's see if there's any broken stuff we want to get here. Arrow bundle, nice. Yeah, every bit of arrows we can get here is going to be useful. Worth a shot, just to check. All right, let's get this guy and this. Oh, looks like there's something over there. I don't know if that's like a real thing. It doesn't seem to be on the map, so I'm assuming it's not a real thing, but that's kind of interesting. Wonder if that's like a bonus area. I'm not sure, honestly. I know there were some bonus areas on this, uh, if I remember correctly. Okay, we got a redstone gold here. where it wants us to go, so let's go down real fast first. Let's see if there's anything over here. Unfortunately, all our strength is going to get wasted here, but it's fine. Oh, it's another gold over here. Nice. Alright, evocation robe. Unfortunately, not that super useful, but... And it's worse than what we have, but hey, at least it's something, you know? At least it's something. Is there anything over here? Redstone golem? The TNT did not seem to do anything to him. See if there's anything that it was useful. That it's useful over here. I mean, let's make sure there's no hidden things that are gonna pop out of nowhere. Hidden chests. Doesn't seem to be. Check the map real quick. Zero of one secrets found. Two of eight chests opened. Okay. One oh, another red circle. Crossbow. Not super high level though, unfortunately. Anything else over here? We fought like four or five golems there, so hopefully there's something better. I didn't mean to waste that arrow, but it's fine. I guess it was just that. That was not really worth it, to be honest. Level 35 crossbow. Oh well, though. Uh, at least we checked it out, so at least we saw what it was. That's something, I guess, right? Alright, let's continue on then. the way it wants us to go this time. <laughs> Alright, it wants us to go down there. I know there's some stuff over here though, so if we can get the right geometry thing and get over there, that'd be awesome. Okay, I missed I messed it up, unfortunately. I thought you could you could actually go over here. Maybe what happens if I do the feather, and then use that. That didn't work. 
How about if I do it from here, though? Nope, that did nothing. Okay, well, I thought I thought there was a way to do it, honestly, but I uh, must have been wrong. All right, either way, let's get this back in the inventory. Oh, it's on cooldown still. There we go, now we can get it back in the inventory. Get our power level back up. Yep, that's gonna get us back up two levels. So. I wanna say there's like an Inhuman or something that we have to fight here. Evoker, okay. Yeah, close enough. Where is he at? Down there, okay. There we go, we got him. Alright, let's check every nook and cranny here, for sure. Armor. Yeah, we don't get as many emeralds when we're attacking with this big one. Because uh, it does just does so much damage, it's not as many attacks. Uh, you don't get as many emeralds from the little pig there. Usually, if you attack him a ton, he'll give you like a bunch of emeralds. Looks like we, I missed a little room here, actually. Let's check this out first, then. Nothing much over here, right? No hidden chests. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's head back the way we were going. That guy here, try to avoid this damage if we can. Nice, good stuff. gonna be any lightning. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you guys were here. Another arrow bundle that is useful. Yeah, they have such long range, it's kinda crazy. I have pretty decent range as well, but I don't quite think I have that range. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess maybe I do. They do at least just run at me instead of, um, like, kiting me out, I guess. Okay, it says it wants us to go this way. I think there's a secret area over here, although I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always load in, I think. Let's see if we can find it, though. Yeah, this is the secret area. I don't remember... How he activated the like one of these tables maybe? Yeah, I can't remember honestly. It's not one of these, right? Bookshelves. Nothing I can click on basically. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember honestly. Anything I can click on over here that'll activate it? Maybe one of these things on the walls? No, okay. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember how to activate that room. <clears throat> but uh, I guess we'll skip it for now. Unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. These guys are fast too, what the heck? Getting out of here. Alright, nice. We got him at least. Some 
Is that down here? I misclicked him so I didn't actually get him first. Whoops. Took a tiny bit of damage, unfortunately, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. I think we're almost out of this little area. Yeah, there it is. There's the end. Let's check over here real quick. Doesn't seem to be anything. Alright. Let's head out. Oh, maybe this is how you do it, actually. Yeah, this sounds familiar. Let's, let's clear out these guys real quick. They're still coming, hold on. Nice. Alright, yeah, I think it's over this way, so you wanna, like... You can do it this way, I think, maybe? Oh, no. Maybe... To go over here? No, how do we do this? Did they patch it out maybe? Oh no, here it is. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, there's like a little bonus area over here that you have to go through. Or you can go through if you want. Really cool. satisfying. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's check up here real quick. Let's see if there's anything over here that's worthwhile. Okay, yep, perfect, nice. Good chest here. Claymore, I think it said level 27, or no, 30, 36, okay. It's something, but not really what we're looking for. Check out this area to the left. It looks like there's maybe a bonus area. Or no, that's just the way I came from, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Alright, three more fire arrows you can see down here. Check down here real quick, and then we'll check up there real quick after that. Nice. And there's a small chest here. Oh, nice still crossbow. Cool. Uh, nothing crazy though. Whoops, I didn't mean to throw that, but that's right. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's continue on. into the, the below area. And then, alright, let's head back to where we were. Honestly, real fast, let me go ahead and equip these. <laughs> so we can kind of speed up this process a little bit. Alright, we're almost back. Perfect. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my other things back in. Oh, that's right, we gotta wait for them to, to cool down real quick. There we go, now let's put it back in. Boom, and where was the other one? Uh, I can't remember actually, what the heck? What did I just have? Oh, it was this, yep. Flip quiver. Just wanna get those special guys out of the way. Perfect. Nothing over here. Looks like it wants us to go up there, so we're gonna go check out this red area first. Area on the right. that fall off on top of you, but it doesn't look like it did that time, unfortunately. <laughs> Again, just fell off the map. Alright, let's continue on. <clears throat> Uh-oh, might be another redstone golem. Yep, definitely. Nice. Do need to heal up a little bit from the damage that I took there, but it should be okay. Uh, it wants us to go up once again, so I'm gonna go down. Oh, looks like another redstone go. Okay. TNT and a heavy crossbow. I didn't mean to click that. Whoops. Alright. Pretty sure those deal damage to me. They used to deal damage to the player. I don't know if they still do. They've definitely changed some things on this game that uh, I didn't remember them, them working like that before. So it's possible we don't, don't take damage, but I think we need to do it. Does this give me more arrows? No, I think I just transferred my arrows into that. actually, but we're fine. Oh nice, good level up, sweet. Some more grim armor, all the stuff we don't need, we can just disenchant it into, or just dis dis uh, assemble it, whatever, into um, gems. Nothing down there, all right, last little area to check. Oh, another redstone gold now, okay. Oh nice, that one did a lot of damage. Oh, maybe because strength, uh, the strength affects, um, but it looks like it may, may do. Alright, heavy crossbow. We don't need it, but we got a nice little bit of uh, emeralds there at least. Alright, should we go ahead and disenchant a bunch of this armor? I think I kind of want to do it in a different situation. I don't really need to do it like this moment because we're not buying anything. But uh, I, th I think I will do it uh, in the not too distant future. Maybe at the end of this episode or uh, beginning of the next one. Something like that. That guy just used himself. Accidentally, it's kind of funny. Alright, looks like more enemies here. We have to be a little bit careful here. Pretty nice, we're okay. The bread is pretty nice. Rush and electrify. There we go, nice. Let's head over. Pig got launched before me. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, 
Oops, didn't mean to press that a second time, but it's okay. There we go. Thought I was gonna have to pop my uh, toad in there for a second, but it's like perfect again. I'm gonna pull out a pop in here just in case, though. It's getting a little bit low health, actually. Go ahead and heal up as much as we can. Honestly, kind of don't even want to go back for him. You know what? I will do it though. Doesn't lose us too much time. Just a little bit. Alright. Oh, the little pig stuck over there. That's okay though. Maybe he'll get back to me. We'll see. Oops, did we depress that, but that's alright. That's the piercing it looks like worked there. Two of the little wizard dudes. Instead of one claymore, worse than what we have there. Shadow brew here. Uh, I think I'll just this guy. I'm not really worried about it. Picked up a crossbow there. Okay. Not really worried about that guy. Let's check down here real quick. Yeah, it's not quite killing him actually though. It's kinda interesting. Anything useful down here? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's head up. for a second. There we go. Yeah, these crossbow guys really do hurt quite a lot. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> and there's so many of them. Which also helps them. Alright, I think this is just about the boss battle here, right? Yeah, it is. Alright. Uh, let's make sure we are all ready and set to go here. Um, what is this? <clears throat> Melee damage is increased, I don't want that. Fire damage you deal is increased. That's kind of useful. <clears throat> um, use your health potion to boost your pet's attack and movement speed. No, don't, not using a pet, it's just souls. All right, nothing crazy there. Is there anything I want to do for this? Rampaging, that's not gonna help here. This could help, and we could combine it with that other thing. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure though. Uh, these are all fully upgraded. Yeah, I think. Uh, I only have five levels though. It's not gonna really do a lot. I guess I'll put one level in it, and then we'll put one level here as well. Oh, it requires two actually. All right, we'll just we'll put two levels here then, and then just kind of go with that. All right. It at least boosts us a little bit. Here is the final battle here. This is a hard, hard battle, so we're probably gonna die a few times. Hopefully, we win them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Okay, that hurt. Nice, we got him. All right, sweet. Ooh. Usually, usually we die there, but nice. We didn't actually die there, so that's really awesome. What did we get there? We got ember robe, so unique item. It's a robe. Burns nearby enemies. Okay, it doesn't really say how much, but that's interesting. That does increase our power level, actually, so I might try it out for a little bit, at least. Protection, that's useful. That's really useful. Um, poison damage yield and increase, not worried about that. Beast Surge, no. Uh, what is this? Food reserves. Whenever you use a healing potion, you also create random food items. That is useful. A little bit. Um, and then potion barrier. When you take, use a healing potion, you take minus 90% damage for a short duration. 5, 7, and 9. So yeah, probably just protection, mostly. Uh, it's a powerful one, so it's going to cost extra po uh, levels, but alright, cool. We look kind of goofy, but that's funny. Alright, awesome. Sweet. Follow the trail, the eye of the storm. Good stuff. Got like the ender stuff down there. Alright. Let's finish it off. The Arch Illager. The enemy of the villagers was defeated. Great heroes saved the day and vanquished evil. Possessed anymore. <laughs> it's all good. Thanks to you, all was well. Until it wasn't. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be the default campaign done. That's going to be the finale. Of course, we are still going to be doing playing more of the game, and there's also DLCs we'll be going through. But uh, that is the main mission, like campaign finale. Um, but there are also harder difficulties where you get better equipment and get higher levels and stuff, um, and you get a lot of cool stuff as well. So wonderful wheat item has a faint smell of an open field, baked bread, and freshly cut crops. I believe this spawns in a sheep or something like that. <clears throat> uh, unlocked new difficulty. Adventure. Enemies are hard to defeat and hit hard. Uh, new enemy enchantments, rewards are better, new gear and artifacts available. So yeah, there you go. That's going to be that stuff. Uh, we did get our thing unlocked, blacksmith. Uh, so we got this nice item power after upgrade, 37 to 43. So uh, unfortunately, we got the lowest possible one there. Unfortunate, but at least it's something. Um, we are going to continue to upgrade stuff, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what do we want to do is the question, though. <clears throat> we do have some artifacts we could upgrade, but I'm not sure if that's the best option. I might just do the, the Death Cat Mushroom again. <laughs> not even going to lie. So we do have two slots now, though, which is really nice. Um, maybe I'll do... Let's see. Actually, what's my lowest level stuff here? 38. So the Totem of Regeneration I think I'll do, and then I might just do the Death Cat Mushroom again. Is this going to lower our power level? It is. Yeah, I think I'll do the Death Cat Mushroom again, actually. Hopefully we get it a little bit better this time. <clears throat> and then this one I'm going to do the... Uh, uh, Totem of Regeneration here. Alright, cool. So, missions one on default difficulty. Or higher. So, there you go. This one says just default difficulty. I wonder if that means you can't do this on higher? Or what? I guess we'll find out the next time. But, uh, yeah, let's go get our bonus chest real fast before we end off here. Is it up here? No, it's not up there. Let's check the other directions. Oh, let's see how much damage it does. So, it does 11 damage... And that's it. Okay. I mean, it does it really fast, but... Okay, yeah, we also have this bonus area now as well. Let me get this chest first, and then I'll show you guys the bonus areas. <clears throat> Real quick, and then we can kind of wrap up the video there. This has been a long one already. 
Um, Alright, yeah, it doesn't look like... I don't think it's down here. Yeah, it shouldn't be down here. I'm not really sure where that is. Uh, first, real fast, though, let's check out this because we haven't checked this out yet. This guy wasn't here until we just completed that, I don't think, but let's talk to him real quick. Root Rot Armor, so this is a um, DLC armor, actually. Uh, it costs gold, though, and we can't afford it, but uh, level 42, it's alright. It has some special effects. Um, but yeah, only trades for gold and carries exclusive gilded items, so it does have gilded, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then the ancient, ancient hunt here, uh, a ton of different stuff here. So, offering must contain at least one item, so you have to do an offering of one item from your uh, from your list. I guess we could just do some of them, right? So we could offer these, these items that I don't really care about. <clears throat> um, and we could also try that. I think I'll try that in maybe a different, different level, a uh, different time or something, but yeah, we'll see about that. But yeah. So ancient hunt, select offerings. You must offer at least one item to begin an ancient hunt. Offering enchanted enchantment points will attract more ancient mobs, and the enchantment points will be spent once you start the mission. Each enchant, uh, each spent enchantment point will reduce your hero level by one. That's interesting. The combination of runes on your offered items will affect which ancient mobs you may encounter. All right. So yeah, we've got these runes that you can see on the bottom left of all these items as well. So, all right. Uh, I don't really know what they mean exactly. I might have to look up, look into it or something. But yeah. <clears throat> That's the ancient hunt. It's like you kind of maybe get re big rewards, but you uh, do have to sacrifice some stuff. So I don't know if it's really worth it for me, but hey, it's definitely an option. Um, we still have these merchants, of course, as well. And then I'm going to show you guys this little area over here. This is a bonus area that you unlock after you complete that first uh, default dif uh, difficulty, I think, right? Yeah, now we're on an adventure. <clears throat> um, oh, what was that? Random earnings, bonus AP, random mission. Oh, that's interesting. AP bonus plus 25%. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. All right, the chest is here. So we got some emeralds. <clears throat> I believe there's a little thing back here, actually. Although I don't re Okay, yeah, here we go. If you go all the way up here, I think there's like an ender chest or something. Don't quote me, but let me see if I can get this right. I got to roll across here. Yeah, there we go. Yes, inner chest. So we got a scatter crossbow. Okay, wasn't that useful, I guess, but oh well. Um, honestly, I probably could have saved that till uh, I was higher level, but I kind of just want to go show you guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, also, I think if you go through here, yes. There's another little hidden area that you can actually unlock this part with. Uh, press this button, and now the drawbridge is open, so now we can also access it through there without going all the way around. And there's some bonus stuff in here, it's like a little secret stuff, there's some of the developers, I think, uh, pictures on the walls, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we've got a bunch of other stuff as well in the back here once we go to the end. It's like a little church of notch or something, I don't know, church of something. Uh, that one's got like a fancy frame, that's kind of interesting. Why does that one have this fancy frame? Alright, uh, if you pr click this, it changes something. I can't remember what exactly, but yeah. Um, and then you have these like little runes here. And I think you have to collect the runes from different levels or something. I can't remember exactly, but I think you have to collect them from different levels. And I don't remember which exactly. Maybe you have to defeat the... Uh, do the normal levels and then just defeat all the the difficulty levels on adventure it's possible that might be what it is i don't really remember but yeah that's all that done and then we can just head straight back out i don't think there's anything to click on the side here and that's kind of a unique little like interesting thing but <laughs> Other than that, um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we will continue into the next, um, we'll do the, the adventure mode pretty soon here. I'm also interested in doing more of the tower, which is right up here, and then I might do some of the um, little inn stuff down there. It's kind of interesting. I'll do some of the tower, and I'll probably do some uh, daily trials, possibly, as well. Um, and we also have the island realms and other dimensions, where we have... Um, more DLCs over here that we want to check out. So we'll definitely check out those as well, um, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we've got more DLC. There's got the Hidden Depths DLC, there's Frosted Fjord, there's other dimensions. Uh, I don't think I actually have this DLC, do I? 
available now. Oh, that's opening up a store. We're not going to worry about that. But yeah, other dimensions, I think we have some of these maybe. Oh, we don't have that one. We do have this one, though. Um, <clears throat> this, of course, is the Ancient Hunt as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and disenchant some stuff that I don't really want to keep around. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. I, once again, I, I really just appreciate it a lot. And uh, see you later if you don't want to see the rest of this. But yeah, all right. Chance to temporarily stun enemies. That is useful. Um, the only reason I would keep any of this lower level gear is if I want to upgrade it to a higher level in the blacksmith. But um, the only reason I would want to do that instead of just getting a new one usually is going to be if I, it has really good enchantments. Um, these all have only one enchantment, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and salvage them because I'm not really going to use them. Uh, the twin bow shoots two enemies at once, and it has a brick option for ricochet. Not the worst idea. Accelerate and dipping poison. I think I'll get rid of this one. I might keep this one just for now, just in case. Because uh, ricochet is nice and shoots two enemies at once. I might up upgrade it. But yeah, multi-shot artifact. I think this shoots five arrows. Yeah, 40% chance to trigger. Honestly... I shouldn't keep it because I'm gonna get a better one, but I'll keep it for now just in case. Uh, so this gives 15. How much do these give? 15. Okay. All right. Uh, just seeing if like the difference in level actually matters to give you more. I guess it does a little bit, but not very much. Uh, Hunter's armor I really don't use very much. The main armor I'm gonna be using is either gonna be the ones that give you straight up protection uh, built into the item, <clears throat> or um, I like the most the spider armor. Because it gives you life steal, uh, the unique one gives you life steal aura, and it gives you, or I think aura, and it gives you life steal aura, and it gives you uh, attack speed, which is just super nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna be using any of these hunting armors, honestly. Uh, sword has stunning and prospector. This one has two smitings and a rampaging. Not really worried about that. I might keep this one just for a second, just to see. Freezing slows mobs, which is pretty useful actually. Um. Stunning or slowing? 50% chance to trigger. Just not very high for me. Okay. Rapid fire and bonus shot. These are useful, but once again, I'm just going to get better bows in the future. So I'm just going to get rid of them for now. Uh, tumblebee. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, and then increases movement speed for one second after taking damage. This is actually, Rush is actually quite useful, to be honest, but I. I'm not sure. Scale mail is useful because it has the damage reduction and the melee damage built in, which is actually pretty nice. Um, I guess I'll keep it for now, but I'm probably going to get rid of it, to be perfectly honest with you. Sickles. I think we have better sickles, don't we? Let's see. I think we have better sickles, right? We have daggers, daggers. Oh, I guess we don't. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'll keep one of the sickles then, just, just to be safe. Um, let's see, weakening or leeching? Defeating a mob. That's pretty useful. Um, looting or busy bee? Looting would be nice. Drop consumables. Um, seven. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I'll just keep them both for now, I think. They're not, they're both not super useful, but actually no, I'll get rid of this one. Okay, Scatter Crossbow. Power, which is actually pretty nice. Upgrades straight up the damage, but uh, I have better than that, I think. I have better scr Scatter Crossbows, right? I think. Slicer. That's just a single. Rapid Crossbow. Slayer Crossbow. Scatter crossbow, scatter crossbow. Does any of these have power? Doesn't actually seem like it, actually. Oh, no, this one has power. Yep, we're getting rid of all the other ones then. <coughs> Alright. Get rid of the scatter, scatter crossbow. We'll get rid of all these other ones as well. Uh, what is this? Longbow. Punch. No thanks. Uh, archer's armor. This is a unique archer's armor. Like the hunter's armor, basically. Range damage is increased, more s movement speed, and more arrows. Um, but honestly, I don't think so. I'll keep it for now just because it's unique, but I'm probably going to get rid of it. Uh, hunting bow, pets attack, target as mobs. I don't want that. I don't use pets, really. 
Hunter's Promise, chance to regain arrows. This is unique out there. Burst, bowstring. Interesting. Shoots mobs when you roll. Uh, okay. I mean, probably not going to keep it eventually, but I'll keep it for now, I guess. Uh, this one we're going to get rid of for sure. Longbow, I just have a better version of that right now. Light Feather, I'll keep for now. Uh, Dancer's Sword, increases attack speed. Um, I think that's Rampaging. Let me see if I can find that on a different item. See if I remember what that is. Um, let me see. It would be a, a melee item for sure, if any of them. <coughs> Where is it? Um, Rampaging, come on. Gotta be able to find it somewhere here. Unless I got rid of all the items that have Rampaging. Maybe I did. Um, yeah, maybe I did. Well, I'll keep it for now since it's a unique. It's a unique. Uh, I think this is like if you kill an enemy, you get more attack speed. I can't remember. But the what is guarding strike? When you defeat a mob, you're given a temporary shield that reduces damage by five, fifty percent, um, and it has a short jam duration. I think freezing and weakening are probably going to be the two enchantments if we use this, uh, but we definitely got to level it up. Uh, light feather, yeah, we're keeping obviously, just so we can level it up later. Longbow, once again, I do have a better version than that. The slicer, um, chance to fire piercing bolts, so that's the main thing it does. It's just a regular crossbow, other than that, I think. Accelerate, I guess I'll keep it for now, maybe. Uh, we might upgrade it just because it's unique, but other than that, we're probably not going to be using it, to be honest. Got a pickaxe here. It's the last pickaxe we have, right? I believe so. Yeah, it is. Alright, we'll keep it for now, just because it's the only one of the kind that we have, but uh, probably going to get rid of it, to be honest. Weapon damage boost aura, which is super nice, but uh, it's not quite as good as this one down here. Uh, not that one, but this one. 30% damage instead of 20%. Uh, of course, this is an aura, so you could actually b boost your allies as well, which is why it's useful. Um, but we're not we're playing solo right now for the most part and for the foreseeable future, um, so we'll just get rid of it. Uh, gives you a pet bat. I think the pet bat actually does damage. I can't remember, though. Um, so we've got Electrified. Actually is quite useful, um, but you do need a pretty high level for it to actually be like super useful. Cooldown is really nice, actually. I think I'll get rid of this one instead. Uh, what do we got for here? Rapid crossbow, high fire rate. I think these are the two, only two rapid crossbows we have, right? Slayer crossbow. Uh, I think these are the only two rapid crossbows we have, unless I'm mistaken. It's got like the blue on the edges. Any other ones that have that? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um, so I think I'll keep one of them, just so that I have one. But mm, for the most part, we're probably not going to be doing that. Not going to be using it, I mean. Um, this and this. Infinity is nice. Yeah, this just has worse stuff, basically. So we'll, we'll use this one, probably, if we ever use it. Um, the cooldown is nice. I'm not really worried about most of this. Deflect is pretty cool, though. Small chance to defect. You get up to 45% there. Hmm. I guess I'll keep them both for now, but I'm probably never going to be using these, to be honest. Uh, I'll keep this just in case, but I'm probably I don't really use the soul stuff very much. Uh, rapid. Okay, that's the one we're keeping. Daggers. I think this is the only daggers we have, right? Oh no, we have two. Okay. Right. There's no more. Yeah, just two. Okay. Um, this one has. Oh, here it is. Rampaging. Nice. So yeah, after defeating a mob, that's what it is. Then you get a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50% for a short time. So it's only a 10% chance, so it's pretty low. But you do get quite a bit of attack speed, and then it could be up to 15 seconds if you uh, if you get it. Um, not super worried about it. Freezing is nice though. Uh, what does this one have? This one's leeching. So yeah, this is more damage. Um. They're both not great. I think I'll just keep them both for now, but I'm probably going to get rid of this one first. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, Soul Lantern we'll keep for now. Mercenary Armor. So yeah, it gives you 20% weapon damage, do sword, and 35% weapon damage reduction. 
This one gives you same damage reduction and, f and is that five or ten percent more? It's ten percent more weapon damage, but this gives you aura, of course, obviously. But not really worried about it, honestly. I think I'll just get rid of this one. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, uh, next up, Slayer Crossbow. It's a unique, I'm gonna keep it for now. Powerful shots, not very much ammo, of course. Unchanting is probably gonna be pretty nice, actually, though. If we do end up using it, um, that would probably be the achievement we go for. I don't like the wolf armor, honestly. Archer's armor, we have another one of this. Let me move these up a bit. Okay, there we go. So this one's obviously a higher level, but that doesn't really matter too much. Does it have better chance, is my question. Looks like it does. So he has Deflect, which is actually really nice. And then Back of Souls. Okay, not really worried about that. <clears throat> but uh, Temple Bee, chance to summon a bee when you roll. That's pretty useful. Food Reserve is actually alright as well. But uh, Deflect is good. Deflect is definitely good. So I think I'll get rid of this one then. Alright, um, moving on. The Daggers, I said I'm going to keep both of them. Uh, Thief Armor, this is the one that we have, I think. We haven't got any spider armor yet, have we? Doesn't look like it. Or if we did, we disenchanted it for the, um, for the, probably the, the <coughs> enchantment points. Uh, thief armor, I do like a lot. And it has snowball and deflect, so I'm gonna keep this for now. But we, I do like the spider armor more, it's just the better version, basically. The unique variant. Uh, harvester I'm gonna keep. Just a regular bow. Supercharge. Nah, I'm good. Uh, shock powder I'll keep for now. <clears throat> Actually a pretty nice item, honestly. Uh, dagger stool, yeah, we're keeping that. Grim armor, so yeah, this gives the lifesteal aura. So that's pretty useful. Um, I think it's the only grim armor we have. No, it is not, okay. Well, beast burst, speed synergy. I mean, speed synergy is nice, but uh, what is this one? Beast boss. Explorer. Eh... Those aren't really great either. <laughs> uh, I guess speed synergy I'll keep, so I'll probably get rid of this one. This one's rare though. How is it rare? I don't know. You know what, I'll just keep them both for now, I don't care. Alright, uh, Venom Glaive we're gonna keep because it's unique, and I also like the, the long range ones, weapons. Mercenary armor, uh, once again, we're just not gonna be using them honestly. Uh, Spruce of Swimness are nice, I love that. Rare, Great Hammer, I think mine is just better, right? Fire Aspect, that's Enchanting and Guarding Strike, but eh. Uh, this one is Freezing and Weakening. I mean, I'll keep it, I guess, for now, but probably just gonna keep what I have, honestly. Uh, what is this, Void Strike? Attacking a target applies a damage multiplier that rises steadily to a max level and is removed. Interesting, okay. Levitation shot. It's hard to levitate briefly, that's interesting. And fall damage. Okay. Uh, power bow is what that is. This is 423. These actually are pretty decent because they're high leveled. Um, yeah, my current one does 407 at the most. This one definitely does a little bit more damage, but I also have better chance on this right now, so. Uh, I think I'll get rid of this one probably, but this one I might keep just for the infinity. Just a possibility. Um, this one does have cooldown, so I'll keep it for now, and look at the C is actually not bad. Cutlass, I think we only have two of these, right? This one has sharpness, and this one has sharpness, but this one's a higher level by default. So yeah, I think I'll... Hmm, actually, I could get my enchantment levels back, though, if I get rid of this. And this one has the same enchantment, so we can always get them back if we need to. I think I'll do this and chant this one and then just level this one up later if we if we don't get a better one uh, in the future. Uh, so power of infinity, I already checked that out. Fireworks there we'll keep in reinforced mail. 25% damage reduction, 30% chance to negate damage, that's super useful. And then 100 percent longer roll cooldown though. Oh, that's unfortunate, but I mean it's not the end of the world, honestly. I don't use roll that much. Uh, scattered crossbows up next. Piercing Radiant shots. Interesting. Um, maybe. A lightning harp crossbow though. This is just better. It's the it's the the better variant though. This has a ricochet. Just really nice and infinity. 
that's just kind of better actually. Uh, scattered crossbow, this one has radiance and ricochet, also useful. Um, let's go back down here. This we're keeping grim armor. I think I said I'm keeping both of these for now. Soul robe, honestly, not that good. Does have 50% artifact damage, but I'm not, I don't really use this stuff, honestly. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, is this anything useful? Life boost. Each time you respawn, no. Probably just get rid of this too, honestly. Uh, mace. It's one of the few maces we have, I think. I'm just gonna keep it for now. Thundering is pretty useful, though. I think. Smiting would be pretty good as well. And there's two of them there. Interesting. Um, scattered crossbow. I think I already looked at these, right? Yeah, we're keeping all of those for now, just in case. Soul crossbow. <clears throat> uh, like I said, I don't really use the souls, but it, it does have some nice enchantments, I guess. I'll keep it for now. Boost of Sweatness, Catch Crossbow again. Oh, this one has... Okay. Well, let's get rid of this one then, probably. This one has just better enchantments, and it's higher leveled. Um, Grim Armor is another one. Okay. Shadow Blast. Okay. Uh, food Reserves. Okay. I mean, eh. Kind of. I think I'll just get rid of it. Uh, crossbow, rapid fire, that's cool. Just higher attack speed straight up, multi shots, and decent. It's not the worst, but it's just a basic crossbow, so I, I think I'm just gonna get rid of that. Um, void collar is a unique crossbow. Soul, it's a soul crossbow basically, though. Eh. Not really worried about it, but I'll keep it for now just because it's unique. Uh, heavy crossbow. I think what I have is just better, right? And not quite, but a little bit. Just like the lowest level is not quite better, but yeah, it's definitely better. Uh, electrified. I mean, I have a, a unique, so I think it's just straight up better than these. This one does have protection though, but so does this one, so. Yeah, I'll just get rid of all of these because they're just worse than the unique one that I have. Uh, rapid fire. We got, this is just a regular crossbow. I don't, I'm not worried about it. It's just a little crossbow, I don't care. Grim Armor, Swift Footed, Rolling makes you faster, Thorns, eh, Thorns is not bad actually. What is this? Protection, Multi-Roll, oh that's interesting. Soul Focus, okay. Interesting. Lucky Explorer, that seems useful. Alright, yeah, the Protection is just is the best, so. I think I'll get rid of all of these other Grim Armor, probably. Because they don't have protection. <laughs> Alright, let's move these all back up so we can kind of see a little bit better. Alright, where were we? Somewhere right here. Claymore, yep. Alright, we got a couple Claymores. We're almost done here, guys. Uh, Guarding Strike, Ambush. Thundering is better, and so is Weakening, so I think I'll get rid of this one. It's a low level anyway. Um, Heavy Crossbow. It does have ricochet. 168 damage. I guess it's okay. Maybe we'll keep it. So it's multi shots. Chance to fire five arrows. That is really nice. Gravity's nice as well. I think I'll just keep them both maybe for now. Normal crossbow I'm getting rid of. Mercenary armor I was just using. It's not the worst, honestly. Um. Let's go ahead and do that one, and then maybe we'll do some protection for a bit. Yeah, we'll put that. Alright, and then I think I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Mercenary armor. Do we have other ones, right? We do have other ones. Yeah, I think I'll just get rid of it. It's just not as good level, basically, right now. Wonderful wheat. Uh, it's just going to up our level. No, it's not going to up our power level, so... Uh, scatter crossbow does have power on it, so I think I'll probably keep it for now just in case. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry that took so long, but appreciate anyone that was able to stick around. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next part. Peace.